Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Abe and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, one of my favorite camping stoves. It's the Soto Windmaster. I bought it about a year ago uh, and I've had a chance to use it in all four seasons, uh, including some of the colder uh, days of the winter. Uh, actually down to minus 25 degrees Celsius, which is around I think minus 7 or 8 Fahrenheit. Uh, and uh, it performed really well. Special like about this stove is that it's got this built-in windscreen. So the, the burner inside is actually concave. And uh, around it there is this uh, little uh, lip that protects it from uh, the, the wind that comes from the sideways. Another great feature of this uh, particular stove is that it's got a built-in uh, igniter. It's a piezo element. So when you click it, it makes a spark on the top and um, basically ignites the fuel. This is very uh, useful because first of all, you don't uh, have to use matches or uh, lighters. And second of all, it's actually your uh, backup uh, fire starter. This stove also has a built-in micro-regulator. It's located over here and so what it does, it allows you to uh, have extremely fine uh, adjustment of the flame. You can simmer really well with this stove. Like the flame would be very small and uh, or you can make it extremely high. Another advantage of a micro-regulator, it allows you to use this stove at lower temperatures compared to other stoves because uh, those uh, fuel canisters, they actually, uh, when it gets cold, they don't perform as well uh, because gas, uh, when the gas gets cold, it doesn't evaporate. And um, when you have a micro-regulator, uh, I don't know exact science about it, but it allows you to uh, have a larger flame or more output when uh, the temperatures get cold compared to other stoves without the micro-regulator. Uh, this stove is actually made in Japan. Uh, the Soto is a Japanese company uh, and their products are, I've seen some of their other products, but this one is very high quality. Everything is solid. I have no doubt that it's gonna last many years. So they sell them in uh, two variants. Uh, one uh, comes with um, the spot support and uh, it's a little metal piece like this. Um, it opens up like that and it basically slides over, over the burner and stays like this. And it's very stable, uh, it holds pots uh, no problem. And, um, but if, for example, you wanted to pick like a larger pot and you needed uh, more support, there is another uh, uh, package that they sell uh, where they add, uh, in addition to this pot support, they also add a, a larger one that can, that's almost like twice as large as this one but I never had a, a, a reason to use it because this was uh, more than enough for one or two liter pots. In one year that I've been using it, I've never ever had a problem with the stove. Every time I wanted to start it, it always started. This uh, igniter is very reliable. Uh, the only time when uh, it didn't start was in the winter. Um, some of the water, um, when it started to boil, uh, covered the igniter and when it cooled down, it basically froze into ice and um, that's when it stopped working. But as soon as uh, I got home and it dried up, it was working again. So just be mindful of it if you're using it uh, in the winter. Uh, water that's on the igniter can freeze and disable it. So one thing I really like about the stove is that the pot support legs are actually very close to the burner. And so once you put, this, once you put the pot on top, there is a small gap and that small gap basically allows the flame to uh, persist even in bad weather and strong winds. So that makes this uh, really nice and um, a, lo a lot of the actually other stoves that I've seen they don't have this kind of uh, design. So according to the manufacturer uh, this uh, stove will boil uh, two cups of water under two and a half minutes and it will burn on 250 gram canister or eight ounce canister for one and a half hour, which is pretty good and efficient uh, considering its, uh, its output is 11,000 BTU, which is one of the like highest ones. 
Overall, I'm very satisfied with the stove. Uh, when I try to think about something that I would improve, uh, it's not very obvious. I, it, I'm really like satisfied all around. And if I were for some reason to lose this one today, I would buy another one in a heartbeat. Uh, and um, obviously, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's actually a little bit expensive compared to most other stoves. Uh, I paid about $120 Canadian. Uh, but I think you can find it for under uh, $100 in US. But it's definitely worth it if you don't mind paying this much. So I just added uh, two cups of water, which is uh, half a liter. And let's see how it performs. This is how you turn it on. There we go. It's on. That's a beautiful thing. So I'm going to put this on and then time it, let's see. It's on, time to start. Close the lid. So it boiled two cups of water or half a liter uh, in two minutes and 54 seconds, uh, which is a little bit more than what the manufacturer has stated. Uh, they stated at two minutes, 30 seconds. But I guess if I wasn't opening the lid that much, uh, it would have been faster, but still pretty close. If I missed anything that you'd like to know, please uh, feel free to ask, uh, ask me in the comments below and uh, I'll answer all your questions there. And I hope this review was somewhat informative. Once again, uh, this is Abe with Hiker Outpost. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.